Well, we've all heard horror stories about, you know, the newest neighbor that tends to move into the neighborhood. Well, one Tampa neighborhood may have a story that can actually, you know, top all others this in this will. department. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this evening, 10 News reporter Preston Rudy takes you to Sunset Park in South Tampa, where some residents are getting pretty torn up over their newest neighbor. On most days, the residents of Sunset Park don't have much to worry about. Oh, yeah, it's a really nice neighborhood. But recently, things changed. And he comes every night. I mean, he was here last night. It started about three weeks ago when the newest neighbor moved in. He runs if he sees people. A few people like him. They help me with my weeding anyhow. But most hate him. He could live here if he wasn't so destructive. But you know Either way, he everyone he agrees enough. he... I can't tell. ...or she has got to go. Oh, I've definitely heard him uh, make noises. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to make the noise. He makes like a, a grunting sort. Uh, the kids cross street call the pig Daisy. Yes, Sunset Park's newest neighbor. He's about that long, about so high, you know? Nice and healthy. Is a free roaming 75 pound pig, grazing on and destroying lawns wherever he or she chooses. This whole area through here has all been ripped out. By the, by the pig. Marlon Anderson's lawn was the first to be hit. And I chase him off. He'd wait another five minutes and come back. It was just so uh, arrogant, really. Marlon estimates the Sunset Park porker has chewed through a thousand square feet of his yard. And the trap he set up. He's, he's the most intelligent animal I've actually run into. It's still empty. Jerry Alexander has seen the white and dark brown pig. Spotted him one more time in the yard, but he didn't do any damage. He was just taking a shortcut across my yard from somebody else's. Okay. His family even put out signs welcoming the porker. No one knows for sure how the pig got to Sunset Park. Oh, we'd love to find him, especially if it is a wild pig. I'd love to find him. Easter's coming up. Most believe the pig was probably dropped off. Now it's thought he's living in the mangroves next to Marlin. I swear to God, he was looking and looking and watching me. But maybe not for much longer. If he wasn't ripping up lawns every night, he could live here for the rest of his life. In Tampa, Preston Rudy. Tampa Bay's 10 News. <laughs> well, now the, the Sunset Pork, the Sunset Park Porker, mm -hmm. uh, Daisy as some call him. Well, he comes out at night and he's feasting on grubs and earthworms. <laughs> That's why he likes that one guy's yard. But uh, and since he's nocturnal, Preston says they didn't have any luck finding the pig whatsoever. You know, and by the way, residents say if they, tra they trap Daisy, what they plan on doing is giving him to a farmer, having him released in a more natural environment. But you just heard the, the one neighbor say... Uh, he's arrogant? Uh, well, nothing An worse, arrogant pig? Nothing, nothing worse, worse than an arrogant pig. Right, exactly, than an <laughs> arrogant pig. But he said he was... Nice and healthy, and he's like nice and healthy. You and he said, "How tall is he? It's a big pig." They might have a barbecue or something when they catch this. They better this not. No, I didn't like those signs showing there. him over the barbecue. Anyway. But it's a great story. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> well, you see the commercials. The duck that screams.